one reason that a BMW might not start is because the battery safety terminal here has blown and what you can do is you can come here to the car and just move this uh, the, the thicker cable here and see if that is loose if it is loose that means the battery uh, safety terminal here has blown it uh, it works in similar ways as the airbag does it has an igniter there and if you are involved in an accident it will uh, these wires right here are connected to the airbag control module so if any of the sensors detects an impact it will blow this um, it will ignite the gases in here and it will push this out and when it does that the reason why it does it is because if you're involved in an accident it disconnects the power that goes to the starter and the alternator to minimize the risks of fire and any electrical shorts now even though this in principle is only supposed to ignite if you are involved in an accident there's a lot of cases where this will ignite even if you hit a curb for example and of course if the airbags do deploy this will almost always will deploy as well but sometimes the airbags won't deploy at all or you just hit a curb and then all of a sudden like you go try to start the your car you have all the lights on but you can't start it so th this is what you can check especially if you're stuck somewhere just come and push this in and um, uh, most of the times it will work sometimes it can be really hard to get this all the way in to make contact there now the airbag light will be on and will stay on so what you need to do is you'll need to replace this and it used to be that you replace the, this whole uh, wire right here but now there is um repair kits that you can uh, basically what you'll do is you'll um, remove this you'll plug this out uh, once you do that this piece right here that's short that can easily be disconnected and then right here this you can just unplug it and you can uh, connect the new wire you just can cut this cable here and then you connect the the new wire with a, a BST sensor in it and then you and then what once you do that you can go ahead and clear the airbag light because you will have a code for that otherwise um, otherwise you can't clear the code now sometimes people would what they'll do is right here uh, these two wires go to the airbag module and not only do they ignite the gas in here but they also detect if this is deployed so if it is deployed it will store the code and it'll be a current code or present code so you can't really clear the airbag light so some people will come here they'll cut the wire and they'll put a two ohm resistor that emulates the sensor that's in here and, and then what they'll do is they'll take this and they'll just connect it directly to the terminal and they're bypassing basically the BST now you know it used to be that to replace this part was like 800 900 dollars and I could see why people would do that but now these uh, repair kits are like fifty dollars for some models, so it's not really worth it to go ahead and and hack this and put a two ohm resistors on this. So basically, if if you came in here and then um, just connected a two ohm resistor at two pins, or over here, or just cut this and solder them in there, that will emulate that uh, B, BST sensor. But uh, we wouldn't recommend that. It's just better to just go ahead and replace it. Uh, one other thing that you can do is if if you have another BSD sensor from another BMW that hasn't been in an accident and you know it hasn't deployed, hasn't ignited here, the sensor gas, what you can do is you can remove this uh, 12 millimeter nut, you can remove the 10 there, pull out the uh, BSD sensor, and then this cable, you might have to use what vices, but this cable, if you twist the clamp, you can pull it out and then you can go ahead and reconnect the new one in this case it will be like a used one and then you can put it back together and you don't have to use a repair kit but it's a pretty simple DIY job uh, just be careful that when you do work on that because you're here so close to the body you should always disconnect the negative over here because if you don't you're gonna create a short between this and the body of the car and cause other issues thanks for watching